repentance. It sounds like a big, intimidating and an old word. What is it? Does it matter? How can it impact your family relationships today? Godly sorrow and worldly sorrow are, are not the same thing. The former leads to healthy change, relationship changes with, with God and others. And uh, godly sorrow, um, it, it leads to repentance that begins a journey from brokenness and separation towards forgiveness, trust, and hope. Okay? It takes something bad, whether it's big or small, and it, it uses it to restore and make better. But the second one, worldly sorrow, it's a, it's a dead end. It's a feeling you want to go away. It's something you want to cover up. It doesn't lead to life. Godly sorrow is a fork in the road with a path towards a safe and bright place, while worldly sorrow is essentially a dark, cold cave that goes nowhere. Check out 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 10-11. to 11. Paul writes, Godly sorrow brings repentance that leads to salvation and leaves no regret. But worldly sorrow brings death. See what this godly sorrow has produced in you. What earnestness, what eagerness to clear yourselves, what indignation, what alarm, what longing, what concern, what readiness to see justice done. That sounds important in 2020 and every other day or year and day. Repentance isn't guilt and it isn't wishing you didn't get caught or that someone wasn't mad. Repentance really has three critical ingredients. At number one, seeing our action and heart as, as God sees us, being grieved where we're wrong, and finally, actually choosing to change direction, to align ourselves with God's truth and intent and direction for our lives. Do you want to have a, a greater level of innocency in your relationships and your family? Of course you do. And here's the good news. When repentance is done well and, and right, um, it, it breeds intimacy over time. It breeds a, a common bond between you know, sinners saved by grace that understands our, our failings and the need for forgiveness and grace and restoration. It's an intimacy that is based on love and grace, not based on performance. Sign me up for that. Remember, it's all about relationships with Jesus and with others. Repentance is a need in all of our lives from after the womb and all the way up to our own tomb. It's an agent of change. Repentance is a path to intimacy with God and restored, healthy relationship with others. So model it support others doing it, and celebrate that intimacy that God makes possible. God bless you this week.